just represented in the post office. <laughs> We're over here in uh, Griffith Park, uh, over in the Hollywood Hills, and uh, one of my routines uh, is to kind of take some time out during the day and uh, uh, come up and you know walk the trails. Guys, we're almost at the top. I'm originally from New York City, uh, born in uh, Brooklyn, New York. Uh, I grew up in an area called Staten Island, it's a borough of New York. That's where I got into graffiti. I started painting graffiti in uh, 1991, 12 years old at the time. I guess uh, over the years painting in, uh, in New York uh, and eventually going to school in Manhattan at a school called Art and Design. In uh, 1996, uh, I moved out to uh, New Jersey. I think living in, a, in an environment that I didn't like or enjoy uh, really motivated me uh, to do things uh, artistically uh, to sort of escape that situation. Spray paint is just a medium, it's my medium of choice and uh, it's my preferred medium, uh, but I am an artist. I was just going to freestyle something, but uh, I'm checking to see if I have any, maybe Anything I could bring. I guess I could bring this. I'm over here uh, picking out my paint for the wall today. We're rolling up the wall in green. So uh, I'm going to try to go the route of uh, pinks and oranges, something that I've been doing a lot lately. Sort of like this almost. Pink and orange, and then you kind of get into some other magentas and stuff like that. So I'm going to kind of go that direction today. Pretty typical of me. I'm gonna outline in black as usual. It's not just about painting a piece, it's being able to paint a piece that uh, the letters kind of have something unique about them and uh, you're kind of pr bringing something new to the table but still following along with a lot of the traditions and stuff like that that uh, you know graffiti is based on. What's up Vimby viewers? Uh, we're over here in Hollywood uh, near Paramount Studios. Just finished this wall last night. I kind of got the little throwback b-boy character, a little bit more stylized, kind of gave him a little bit of movement, sort of like the lettering, just the way the can is angled and his arm is angled. Well, when doing, when doing a style like this where everything is an outline, it's really important to know where to place color, you know, to make this thing work. For instance, here I have duller red blending into a pink and an orange. I decided that I wanted to have this part shooting in front of it. The only way to push it out is to come with an even brighter color. I think I use color more to explain areas than anything else, I guess. Using black, it's kind of like the the neutralizer, you know. Well, Vimby, uh, thanks for hanging out. This is Rhyme MSK, and I'm out.